Tobacco Reviews, and I, Dan Pancaldi, am your knight in shining armor. <clears throat> I know, I know, it's been a while. Uh, it's busy, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, you know, busy. I've discovered something in the time of my absence, really, is that tobaccos I reviewed, personally reviewed, uh, on this channel, um, things change, man, you can have a not so great review of a tobacco that you smoked a couple of years ago, and then you smoke it again, and it's just like all the stars align or something, you know, it's... It's as if, um, well, it aged. I mean, if it's a Virginia, it aged, and that's what I'm into these days, and I have another story about that. It's just things change. For example, I don't know, because I hate going back and looking at my stuff. I, I, look, I'm ADD, so I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it, just like I'm a musician, right? So I'll write a piece of music, yay, 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 okay, correct a little bit of stuff, you know, change structure, bring A to B, B to A, whatever. And then it's done. In my brain, it's done. Next. Sure, I'll play it again, but I'm not going to revisit it. Meaning that... But, but well, uh, I'm not going to revisit it in terms of wanting to revisit it by mistake. If I so happen to forget, because I am like that. A certain work I've done, um, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's talk about tobacco. So... Uh, the tobacco we're talking about today is the Eric Stokeby 4th Generation 1855, which is a pure Virginia. Now, I don't know if I, like I said, I don't know if I reviewed it, but this is what's happening now. Because it's the rusting. It's starting to stick in my head. I'm starting to, I'm starting to mature. Like Russ. Russ is very mature. You just have to look at him. You know what I'm saying? Russ, come on, I'm joking. Uh, so, um, we're talking about my, what? maturity. What the hell am I talking about? See, ADD, squirrel. Um, so, yeah. What I've been doing, and probably out of laziness, is that I open up a tin of tobacco, right? I want to smoke something new that I don't have in my shelves. And I have like, Jesus, I got like a hundred tobaccos on my shelves that are all jarred and this and that, just waiting to be smoked or waiting to this and that. And I said, ah, let me smoke this. I'm going to smoke it to Virginia, you know, this and that. Eric Stoke me. So I open it up and, um, you know, I rub out the flakes because I really, really like flakes. Let it dry a bit. Put it in uh, my BJ Arn Piper. I forget the guy's name, but it's a uh, um, freehand, and um, it's one of my preferred pipes. And I'm smoking it, and I'm like, "Wow, this is this is really nice," you know? Because once you start building it, your cadence, once you start having your cadence perfected to certain Virginias, and that'll change from your cadence will change from different Virginias, obviously, some being a little bit more, um, the more sugar in it means more bite, so you take it easy, right? It's just what it is. And anyways, uh, I've been smoking, I'm like, wow, man, taste the hay, a lot, lemony, um, it, 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 Plums, but like, like, like plums, all in the nose. These, these are mid to upper uh, things that I found with the 1855. Uh, any base notes? No base notes, I would say, of that need to be uh, talked about. Uh, any baritone notes that's above bass? Maybe, but we're talking mid here. We're talking tenor alto soprano, okay? And um, I really enjoyed that light, rainy smell of a, of a forest that's drying up, but 
after a hard rain drying up two days after type thing because a lot of it evaporated during the first day but second day then least, there's something sweet in the air about that and it ain't cow shit because uh, when it's cow shit uh, my mother used to say breathe breathe in deep it's good for you little did she know that uh, the molecules in the air when you smell something there's, there's actual chunks of whatever you're smelling and they're called molecules they're in the air so when you're breathing in all this cow shit and it's good for you well you're eating cow shit whether you like it or not that's the way it is and that's a fact and that's science can't dispute facts science so enough of that no conspiracy theories you get you smell shit you get chunks of shit up your nose that's what it is man anyways um, yeah, like I said, uh, light, r foresty rain, a little musky, but tiny. And out of laziness, sincerely, out of laziness, I just left the tin uh, on my table in my smoking room, and I didn't feel like getting up. That's how lazy I am. I swear to God, if it's two and a half feet away to go grab another tobacco it's a it's a million feet away it's two and a half feet away but my arms are not two and a half feet so uh i didn't even want to move my back from the the backrest of the couch to, to go go get it you know that's how lazy i am and i would leave it there and i'd smoke it again and i'd have two bowls of that a day and then the next day i would bah, i have another I don't know, uh, or, or no Orlick, the uh, Virginia. I love that tobacco, man. I would smoke that, and then I'd go back to the 1855, the, the, the Stokeby. Smoke, and it's like, really, I appreciate it till I'm actually finished the tin and saying, man, I gotta order me some more. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with prices that's happening and my... Uh, uh, I work part-time, okay, so uh, I, I don't make no money, man. We're living hard times these days, but anyways, it doesn't matter. So, um, like I said, it was a really nice, sweet, tiny bit tangy, not sour, tangy uh, tobacco with hay and light, foresty, dried up two days forest. You gotta be nuts to think about something like that. You know, this tastes like the forest, but two days after the rain. Yeah, on a hot day. Now, uh, what's the matter with me? But anyway, that's what it is. That's what I taste, man. That's what I see. Yeah. And the red squirrel. So, um, I really like this tobacco. This, you know, there's not... A lot of tobaccos I don't like. Anyways, tobaccos I don't like, I'm not going to review. Why? Because it's a waste of time. You know what I'm and also, here's something else. I'm starting to get back into English because of Russ. Because I, 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 I got into all this Virginia and I have tons of English tobacco. English style tobacco. Orientals. Okay, sorry, Russ. I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, there's something to be said about them still, for me, for me, right? So, let's go see these stats here, right? Eh? So, the stat, uh, the brand is Eric Stokeby, blended by Stokeby, I love it when it's like that, because it's in-house, uh, manufactured by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Okay, you know, it's the mob. But what do you want? Um, meaning uh, the, the the first two, the brand, uh, the brand and blended by the same company. I like that because it doesn't change hands. It's not changing much in the recipe, but whatever. It's a straight Virginia. The contents are Virginia. There's no flavoring. It's ready rubbed. Yep. I remember it wasn't a flake. And uh, it came in a hundred gram tin. Did it? I think mine was a fifty gram tin. It's made in Denmark and it's currently available um the hard stats i call it a uh, the profile this i got this from uh, tobaccoreviews.com these things great 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 
the website. Um, so the strength is mild to medium. Yes. And I would even, I'd stop it real hard on medium. No flavoring detected. The room note. Whatever, I got I got to get in with the times. I got to appreciate the room note. It was pleasant. I don't know. I've been in the room smoking. Ask my wife. It smells like crap. And the taste is mild to medium. Yeah. And I would stop it at medium again. So that's it uh, for the Eric Stokeby fourth generation 1855 Virginia tobacco. And uh, soon I'm going to be asking Russ to do a uh, another show. And this time it's going to be on maintenance. So, uh, thanks for watching, man. Please like, subscribe.